right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well before i jump into this i just have an announcement so i'm gonna just hold on. Got my phone so last night i did a reading and i mentioned that i have five spots for the 40 percent off promotion only five spots but one did get filled up yesterday so i had a couple people reach out but if you don't send in the payment through paypal you're not going to be like you're it's going to go to the next person essentially so the way to confirm your spot because i only have five spots is to make the payment through paypal now this is temporary so i just want to say that Typically, you book through the website. You guys have booked with me for many, 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 many years. But for whatever reason, I can't get this coupon to work on the website right now. I'm not sure why. So I'm trying to contact the company to figure out why it's not working. So in the meantime, I still want to offer the promotion so you can make the payment through PayPal. Now, keep in mind, it's through my personal PayPal because I don't have a Heal and Ascend to real PayPal just because I don't use PayPal typically. So if you guys are confused about that, it's just my name, my full name in my email, so my personal name. So that's gonna be the PayPal that you make it to. And once I receive that payment, I will send you a confirmation email and that means that your spot is secured. So if you email me saying that you want a certain reading and I send you the payment, like I send you how much it's going to cost, that doesn't mean that your spot is secured. It's secured once you make the payment. So if you don't get back fast enough, it may go to the next person because keep in mind there's only five spots. Right now there's only four because someone did send their payment last night or this morning. So letting you guys know, I will leave the information in the comment section down below. So all you have to do is email me at healinessentero.com. Let me know which reading you want. I will get back to you and then I'll follow up to make sure that I get all of your information on your person or whatever other information there is, depending on the reading. Okay. But we have another pick a card today. So we're going to find out what is going on with the person on your mind. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So let's jump in. I'm going to start off with this this is actually called a rainbow agate. No, polka dot agate. Okay, so I'm gonna move these over. I'm like rainbow, that doesn't even make sense. Okay, pile one. How does this person feel about you right now? We've got the four of pentacles. Ooh, my favorite card. We have the empress. We have the ace of swords. We have observer, so you got a bit of a stalker. And so we have, I want to wine and dine you. And the other message is, I'm scared of vulnerability. Okay. So this feels like maybe a bit of a shy character or around you, they're kind of shy or kind of nervous. You may notice that about this person. Like maybe they're very outgoing and social, but around you, they're kind of shy or they're a little bit reserved because I'm seeing the four of pentacles here. They they don't open up to you too much or they kind of keep things close to their chest here, mainly because of the sphere of vulnerability. So this person is very, very, very attracted to you, very interested in you, um, seeing you as potentially the, the best option they've ever had, right? With this Empress energy here, like they're definitely seeing that you embody everything that they would ever have wanted in a person. Um, and I feel like this person really wants to impress you. So with this here, I want to wine and dine you. This person wants to impress you. They also get the sense that you may have a lot of people who are trying to impress you. Okay, like, so this person wants to step up their game just to make sure that they don't lose you to someone else. Um, I'm also getting for this person, this may be a bit of a fear for them where they're like, do I really have enough to you know, make this person happy or, you know, if I take this person out or if I show them what I have to offer, is that going to be enough for this person? Um, so I think that is something that they're trying to figure out for themselves. Like they may just be trying to potentially get information because we have the observer here. So this person may be trying to check out your social media, check out like your, maybe check out your social status. Who are you talking to? Who do you normally talk to? Like I'm seeing that this person is trying to get some like gauge some things here in regards to you. Um, <clears throat> but they do have this really strong fear of vulnerability. Okay, so this person is kind of scared to open up to you about what they're feeling. I just want to clarify this. Let's clarify I'm scared of vulnerability. They're very interested in you. They don't want to get rejected. <clears throat> I mean, who wants to get rejected? But Okay, so notice typically when I do a reading and my throat starts to do this where it starts to like close up and I have to cough to kind of like clear it up. T 
typically that indicates that someone has a throat chakra issue and especially with the ace of swords this person has been wanting to tell you something like they've been wanting to tell you the truth or be honest with you about something but they have been struggling too because of this fear of rejection and this fear of being vulnerable and i get the sense that this person has been holding back a lot they need to tell you because i think it's actually affecting them it's affecting their throat chakra um, it's affecting their ability to just progress spiritually so they need to overcome this i'm not sure if they will but the interest is here let's get one more message from this person what do they want to say to pile number one yeah see i've been hiding my feelings from you exactly what i was just freaking saying they're going to tell you they need to tell you the truth because i just that's what i was saying i get the sense that they've been holding something back my throat like look listen to my throat right now it's literally getting like <laughs> like it's like so um <clears throat> excuse me they need to freaking tell you this i don't know how long they've been hiding this from you because the Ace of Swords would indicate they need to tell you the truth. There's something that they need to be honest with you about. And the truth is, that it's their feelings. They need to tell you how they feel. So I'm not sure the status of this connection. I don't know if you're like just hanging out with them. If you guys are separated. Maybe you're not even talking. I don't know. But just know that this person is keeping tabs on you online. They're watching you. And I think they're getting ready to just tell you the truth about what they've been feeling for you. So when they do this, understand that it's a big deal for them because they have been keeping this to themselves for a while. And some of you may be like, what? But with the Four of Pentacles, they have not been revealing this. I think out of a fear of rejection. Okay, so that is pile number one. I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book the, a reading with the 40% off promotion, there are four spots left and the information to book is a little bit different. You will not receive a coupon code. So look at the comment section if you want to book. Okay, so let's move on to pile number two. How does this person feel about you? Starting off strong, we have the lovers, so they could be a Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, twice, because we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. We have divine timing. And their messages are, I'm overthinking what to say to you, and you don't have to try so hard, I like you. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that I'm getting is that there could be an age gap between the two of you. Um... I'm getting anywhere from like five to 10 years, maybe up to 15 year age, age gap. I don't know who's younger, who's older, doesn't really matter. Um, however, I do think that this person feels the same way that you feel. However, I sense here that you may have given a little bit more to this person. I'm also getting that you may be at a point in your life where you may have more to offer than this person does. And I think, so we have the divine timing here. I kind of sense that how this person is viewing this connection is they're, they're thinking, okay, yes, like I feel something for this person. We have the lovers here. They feel like there's a, a deep soul connection, but there's something that is telling them that they cannot give you the same that you can give them. And I think this is... Um, potentially making them think that this is like the right person but at the wrong time um they also feel like you have put in a lot of effort that's why they're saying here like you don't have to try so hard i really like you so because i i kind of sense here that maybe you guys have been trying to show this person or you've been like maybe texting more than them or whatever it is you guys have been putting in i think a little bit more of the effort and i feel like this person is saying like you don't have to do that i already like you so you don't need to try if this per and I think the reason why you've been doing that is because this person hasn't been putting in the same. So it's like you're trying to overcompensate for the lack of effort that they've been putting in. Now, the reason why they haven't been putting in the same effort as you is because I think they're at this place in their life where they don't feel like they're necessarily at the same level as you. So they're kind of bummed out about this because they're like, why would I meet this person at the wrong time? And for some of you guys, I think it has to do with finances. I think for some of you, you may make more than this person and it may like bother them or you may just be more further along in your life, like evolved maybe, like just give an example, like maybe you're at this point where you're settled, you've bought a house, you're paying a mortgage, you've got like your shit together and they're still not sure about their career. So it's not to say that like they're not progressing, but they may see that you're at a different place in your life than they are and they're concerned about this. 
So I think this person is not sure how to tell you where their head is at because they do have feelings. They, there is interest. It's not that they're not interested. They are. But the concern is like the timing. And I think they don't know how to tell you this without making it seem like they're not interested. I'm just going to clarify this. I'm overthinking what to say. Because I think this person is worried that you're going to take it the wrong way. Yeah, see the six of pentacles. Again, it's there's something about the give and take in this connection that is off. Um, even if you notice here, like see the six of pentacles, see how we have this middle pentacle, then we have three pentacles coming down here and only two on this side. There's something where this person feels like you, and it could be financially, it doesn't have to be though, you have more to offer them at this time than they have to offer you and they don't like this. Like they, they want to be able to be equal with you. They don't want to feel like you have to do more or pay for everything or whatever it is. They want to feel like they can be an equal but they're not at that point in their life where they can match you. So they're like, how do I tell this person this? How do I tell them that I have this feeling for them but I'm not ready? They also don't want you to keep trying. Like they don't want you to keep like putting more effort in at this point um i think they just don't know how to handle this situation they're like do i keep this person in my life or do i call them up when i'm ready i think they're confused about what to say because they don't want to mess it up see the two of swords they're really they're really torn about this for some of them they may be avoiding you altogether because they don't know what to say so in, if that's the case and they have been avoiding you, do not try more. Let this person come towards you because I think if anything, it's going to just create more of an imbalance here. And I don't think you guys have a bad intention about that. I think that the problem is that this person is just not ready. Like they feel like the timing is off. So you guys have, you guys are in this place where you have so much to give and you want to give and you should be able to. Like you shouldn't feel like you, you have to hold something back. So you have to really consider what is fair to you. Okay, so that is pile number two. I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book a reading with the 40% off promotion, there are four spots. The information is different this time, so check the comment section. Okay, let's move on to pile number three. If you guys chose this crystal here, how does this person feel? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Knight of Swords, Judgment, and the Ace of Cups. We've got Metamorphosis. I'm thinking about a proposal and we have control slash jealousy issues. Okay, well the first thing that came through for pile three is that this person really has something that they need to say to you. They need to vocalize something. Knight of Swords, communication, judgment. This girl is literally on a microphone speaking. There's something that this person is like, I need to say, and I think it has to do with this. They wanna make some sort of a proposal. Now is this like a marriage proposal? Maybe, potentially, probably, I don't know. Depends on the status of this connection. So some of you guys, it's going to be a marriage proposal. For others of you, they want to propose maybe like moving things to the next level, um, progressing things. Because even with the metamorphosis here, this is about growth. This is about change. This is about evolving. I think this person wants to evolve this connection to the next level, whatever that level is. They're very into you, pile three, so don't worry about that. Ace of Cups is here. They have a lot of emotional interest in you. Um, very excited about you. The Ace of Cups is like that kind of newer feeling of love where it's like very honeymoon energy. Even if you've known this person for a while, they still get that honeymoon type of feeling. Now, the only downfall of this person is they got a little bit of that emperor energy. I know we don't have the emperor here, but that's what I'm getting with this control jealousy issue. So they may be a bit possessive. They may be a bit controlling. They might be a bit jealous. Um, so keep that in mind. Yeah, it's it's a bit, they're have a, they have a little bit of an issue with their ego. So we have strength here. I do think that this person tries really hard to control these issues that they have. Like they, um, they try not to show them, but deep down they do have them and they may start to kind of slip out the deeper this connection goes, okay? So that's one thing that I'm getting here. If, well, I'll give you an example. Like if right now you're in that stage where it's more talking, you're not necessarily committed, but it's kind of leaning towards, okay, we're not seeing anyone else, you may not see their jealous side. But I, I feel like once things get more committed with this person, once things get more serious, 
you're going to see a very jealous side to this person. Maybe this is something that they want to tell you, but they do. I think the deeper they get involved with someone, the more this side of them comes out and they've been trying really hard to not show you this. Let's see what they want to say to you. The six. Yeah, they want to tell you about their past. Like they want to tell you, oh, and we have there's something they want to tell you for sure. Cause the page of swords is also about communication, communicating something. This person wants to tell you about something about their past that happened to them or that they went through. Um, for some of you guys, you might have asked questions about their past. Like you might have asked them certain questions about their past and they didn't tell you. Now they want to tell you about their past. For others of you, I'm getting, and this is not for everyone, they want to tell you that they have a kid. Um, so just be aware of that. Or maybe they want to tell you that they want to have kids. Because the Six of Cups can also indicate children. Same with the pages. The pages can also indicate children too. So there's some message here around children. So they may want to tell you about kids. Or maybe they want to tell you they don't want to have kids. But there's some there's something that they want to tell you around kids. Either they want them, they don't want them. Or maybe they have them. <laughs> keep in mind, this is general. So it's, it's going to be different for every single one of you. So just keep that in mind but there's something in regards to children that they want to talk about. But the main thing that I'm getting with this person is they do want to evolve this connection to the next level. But I think that in time you will start to see the deeper the connection evolves, the more that you're going to see like a jealous side to this person. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book a personal reading, like I mentioned, I have four spots left for the 40% off promotion. All right. But I'm sending you guys absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.